Hi, welcome to Primetime Pickleball. Thanks for joining us today. And in today's video, we're gonna go over three ways that you can improve your game today. Number one, get up to the non-volley zone and stay there. A lot of times I see a lot of players get up to that non-volley zone and they begin to retreat and they don't hold their ground. Getting up to that non-volley zone, it's the number one thing that we want to do in the game of pickleball and we always want to make sure that when we get up here we want to do our very best to stay here as long as we can um, especially when we're we are the returning team after we return that ball and i make it up to this line i really want to hold my ground and i, I want to stay up here as long as possible and if you're the serving team let's say I served and then you hit this, you hit your third, sh uh, your, your return and come in, okay? I try my best to make it up to the net. I've already worked so hard to get up to this non-volley zone line. Even if I have to move back for a shot, I always want to make sure I recover and stay up at the net. Staying up at the net and at the non-volley zone line will put a lot of pressure on your opponent and it's going to win you more points. Uh, there's a few possibilities I would retreat, maybe if I get lobbed or things like that, but for the most part, if I could stay up here with my partner, I'm going to win more points, and you and your team could be a dominant force at the net. Number two, stop before you hit the ball. Another thing I see a lot of players doing when they are missing shots is that they are moving when they're hitting the ball. Okay, position is very important in the game of pickleball and being in position and being stopped while you uh, hit the shot is very important and it's going to help you in the long run in your shot selection and also in your shot accuracy. A lot of players I see um, when they're starting out and also they, they are questioning themselves why are they popping up balls and why their shots are not accurate. Let's say they're trying to hit a third shot, drop into the kitchen a reason why they are missing those shots is because they're still moving, their feet is still moving while they're hitting the ball. This is why positioning on the court is really important. As, as my opponent hits the ball, I, what I want to do is I want to do my best to track that ball and see where that ball is moving, get into position, and as I hit the ball, I'm always stable. Um, I'm solid, stable, my feet is in position, and I'm going to hit that ball. It's going to be a, very, a much more accurate ball than when I'm moving. So let's say I'm here at the back of the court. Okay, let's say I hit my return, and then Caden, he, sorry, I hit my serve, and Caden hits the return and comes in. Okay, All right? Every shot I hit, I always want to be stopped. Okay, it's going to give me the most control going to give me the most control and the most accuracy as I play out the point okay when I'm moving and stretching and reaching that's when I lose control of the ball so I really want to do my best one thing that you can work on is trying to get in position early um, early and often so let's say he hits a ball let's say I'm over here and he hits a ball in my backhand I'm already deciding I'm going to hit a backhand so what I want to do is I want to get my feet set and I'm deciding early that I'm gonna hit that third shot. If I'm gonna hit a third shot drive, I really wanna get in position and get my weight moving forward. Okay, we always want our weight moving forward and never backward. Okay, so that's the second thing you can do to improve your game. Number three, hit the smart shot and not the hard shot. A lot of times we wanna go for the winner or the highlight shot, but one thing that you can do is that you can start hitting the smarter and higher percentage shot it might not be fancy but it's going to keep the rally going and it's going to win you more points everyone wants to hit the winning shot and a highlight shot that ends the point now in a real game and also if you look at the top pros as they play pickleball most of the points are not won by winners necessarily a lot of them are just won by unforced errors getting that ball over uh, again so let's say we're in a dink rally i've i've worked so hard to to get to the net if there's a ball that's a little bit high i i may be able to take that risk on that ball but the smarter shot is maybe just to hit another um, unattackable dink okay i really want to work on hitting shots that are unattackable and really trying to force my opponent to make the air okay so let's see how patient we could be. All right, so some of these balls I may be able to attack, 
but I really want to try to wait, wait on the ball that I want. Okay. As you as you notice here, I'm moving him around. I'm, I'm in this crouched position, initiating my core muscles. I'm getting low. And another thing you can see is I'm always hitting the ball out in front of me. He's doing a good job making me move. And what I'm doing is I'm making sure I get back up to the non-volley zone every time, okay? Oops, there we go. It's a good rally here. I wanna move him. Good, okay. I'm trying to wait for that good opportunity to attack. Try not to attack every ball. A lot of the points are won with unforced errors, okay? So do your best to really play the smart shot, okay? So you don't really want to always be on the offense. You really just want to wait for those opportunities, and then that's going to help you out in the long run, especially in tournament play. Thanks so much for watching. For more free video tutorials, please check out our website at primetimepickleball.com. You'll find a clickable direct link in the video description below. But before you head on over there, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any of our future videos. And lastly, for primetime pickleball shirts like this and other great apparel, please visit ptpgear.com.